When there are no signs or signals to regulate traffic, who must yield the right of way? A. The driver on the right. B. The driver on the left. C. The driver in the middle. D. The driver with the loudest horn. Answer B. The driver on the left. What is the minimum fine for a first offense of speeding or passing in a construction zone on Missouri State Roadways? A. $100. B. $200. C. $250. D. $300. Answer C. $250. When passing a pedestrian or cyclist, how should you approach the situation? A. Stop, then proceed with caution. B. Slow down and wait for a safe opportunity to pass. C. Honk your horn to alert them. D. Maintain a minimum two feet gap. Answer B. Slow down and wait for a safe opportunity to pass. Can a driver pass on the right by driving off the paved or main traveled portion of the roadway? A. Yes, if there are no other vehicles around. B. Yes, if it helps to avoid congestion. C. No, passing on the right must be done within the designated lanes. D. No, driving off the paved or main traveled portion is not allowed. Answer, D, no, driving off the paved or main traveled portion is not allowed. Within what distance should the driver's view be obstructed to prohibit passing on the left near a bridge? A, within 50 feet. B, within 75 feet. C, within 100 feet. D, within 200 feet. Answer, C, within 100 feet. Can a driver cross a solid yellow line to pass another vehicle? A. Yes, if there are no oncoming vehicles. B. Yes, if the passing maneuver is completed quickly. C. No, crossing a solid yellow line for passing is not allowed. D. No, but it is allowed in certain circumstances. Answer. C. No, crossing a solid yellow line for passing is not allowed. Who has the right of way when a driver is crossing a sidewalk, entering or exiting a driveway, alley, or parking lot? A. Pedestrians have the right of way in all cases. B. The driver has the right of way. C. It is illegal to drive in such areas. D. The driver must yield to pedestrians. Answer. D. The driver must yield to pedestrians. When you see or hear an emergency vehicle approaching from any direction, what should you do? A. Speed up to get out of its way faster. B. Pull over to the left edge of the road. C. Slow down and maintain your current position. D. Pull over to the right edge of the road, or as near to the right as possible. Answer. D. Pull over to the right edge of the road or as near to the right as possible. Where must other drivers stop when a school bus is loading or unloading children on a two-lane road? A. On the left side of the road. B. At least 100 feet away from the bus. C. On the right side of the road. D. On any side of the road as long as they come to a complete stop. Answer, C, on the right side of the road. In which situation do you not have to stop for a school bus traveling in the opposite direction? A, when you are on a two-lane road with no median. B, when you are on a two-lane road with a median dividing the traffic. C, when you are on a four-lane highway. D, when you are on a road with heavy traffic. Answer, B, when you are on a two-lane road with a median dividing the traffic. 
How far in advance should you typically signal before making a turn? A. 50 feet. B. 75 feet. C. 100 feet. D. 200 feet. Answer. C. 100 feet. When should you make a U-turn? A. Whenever you want, as long as there is no oncoming traffic. B. Only when it is safe and legal to do so. C. When you are in an emergency situation. D. Only at intersections without traffic signals. Answer. B. Only when it is safe and legal to do so. What can drivers behind you think if you swing wide to the left before turning right? A. They may think you are changing lanes. B. They may think you are turning left. C. They may think you are slowing down. D. They may think you are lost. Answer. A. They may think you are changing lanes. When turning from a two-way street onto a one-way street, how should you position your vehicle? A. Keep your vehicle in the center of the lane. B. Begin the turn with your right wheel close to the yellow dividing line. C. Begin the turn with your left wheel close to the yellow dividing line. D. Change lanes to the right lane before turning. Answer. C. Begin the turn with your left wheel close to the yellow dividing line. Can you enter the right lane of a four-lane road when turning from a two-way street? A. Yes, always enter the right lane on a four-lane road. B. No, you must always enter the left lane on a four-lane road. C. Only if there is no oncoming traffic in the right lane. D. Only if there is heavy traffic in the left lane. Answer. C. Only if there is no oncoming traffic in the right lane. This question came in a recent exam. Can you make a left turn to enter a roundabout? A. Yes, always make a left turn to enter a roundabout. B. No, never make a left turn to enter a roundabout. C. Only if there is no oncoming traffic. D. Only if the left lane is free of traffic. Answer. B. No, never make a left turn to enter a roundabout. Who has the right of way within a roundabout? A. Vehicles entering the roundabout. B. Vehicles traveling within the roundabout. C. Vehicles exiting the roundabout. D. Pedestrians and bicyclists. Answer. B. Vehicles traveling within the roundabout. Which type of road typically features J-turn intersections? A. Two-lane highways. B. Residential streets. C. Six-lane highways. D. Four-lane highways. Answer. D. Four-lane highways. This question came in March 2023 exam. Can you share a lane with a motorcycle? A. Yes, it is safe to share a lane with a motorcycle. B. No, the motorcyclist needs the entire lane for safety reasons. C. Only if the motorcycle signals their approval. D. Only on highways and interstates, but not on residential streets. Answer. B. No, the motorcyclist needs the entire lane for safety reasons. What should drivers be cautious of when sharing the road with large trucks? A. Sudden lane changes by the truck driver. B. Swift acceleration by the truck driver. C. Increased visibility of the truck in blind spots. D. Longer stopping distances and slower braking. Answer. D. Longer stopping distances and slower braking. What are no zones when referring to large vehicles? A. Areas where other vehicles are not allowed to enter. B. Areas where large vehicles have a higher speed limit. C. Areas where large vehicles have blind spots and can't see other vehicles. 
D. Areas where large vehicles have priority over other vehicles. Answer. C. Areas where large vehicles have blind spots and can't see other vehicles. What should vehicles carrying hazardous materials do at railroad crossings? A. Speed up to clear the crossing quickly. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Stop at all railroad crossings. D. Honk their horns to alert other drivers. Answer. C. Stop at all railroad crossings. What is the average stopping distance for a passenger car traveling at 55 miles per hour? A. Approximately 50 to 75 feet. B. Approximately 100 to 130 feet. C. Approximately 130 to 140 feet. D. Approximately 200 to 250 feet. Answer. C. Approximately 130 to 140 feet. In all situations, whether pedestrians are obeying the law or not, drivers must. A. Drive carefully and reduce speed if needed. B. Speed up to avoid endangering pedestrians. C. Assume pedestrians will always yield to them. D. Honk the horn to alert pedestrians. Answer A. Drive carefully and reduce speed if needed. What should you do when facing a green light at an intersection? A. Assume you have the right-of-way and proceed. B. Yield the right-of-way to all pedestrians in the intersection. C. Speed up to clear the intersection quickly. D. Honk the horn to signal pedestrians to stop. Answer B. Yield the right-of-way to all pedestrians in the intersection. This question came in last year. When approaching a vehicle that has stopped or slowed down for a pedestrian, what should you do? A. Pass the vehicle quickly to avoid delays. B. Honk the horn to alert the pedestrian and the driver. C. Slow down and wait until the pedestrian has safely crossed. D. Signal and change lanes to avoid the vehicle. Answer. C. Slow down and wait until the pedestrian has safely crossed. Is it allowed to ride a moped on any part of the federal interstate highway system? A. Yes, mopeds are permitted on federal interstates. B. No, mopeds are not allowed on federal interstates. C. Mopeds are allowed only during specific hours on federal interstates. D. Mopeds are allowed but with certain restrictions on federal interstates. Answer. B. No, mopeds are not allowed on federal interstates. When participating in a vehicle procession, what is the requirement for signaling the procession? A. Use dim headlights. B. Use flashing emergency lights. C. Use fog lights. D. Use hand signals. Answer. B. Use flashing emergency lights. What should you do if you believe you have seen a drunk driver? A. Confront the driver and ask them to pull over. B. Follow the driver to gather more evidence. C. Ignore the situation and continue driving. D. Tell the police immediately. Answer. D. Tell the police immediately. If a judge finds you guilty of littering, what penalties may you face? A. A warning and community service. B. A small fine and probation. C. Up to a $1,000 fine and or up to one year in jail. D. Mandatory litter cleanup and educational courses. Answer. C. Up to a $1,000 fine and or up to one year in jail.